Hey guys, welcome back to Rebuild 3, Gangs of Deadsville. In the last one we had a lot of talky talky, but we made it over here to uh, what we named Wendigo. We have to reclaim 25 more buildings and I think we gotta deal with a couple of gangs over here. So, we got our characters assigned to do some different tasks. We're resting up our builder guy. So, we have some hunting, some scavenging, some convincing, and some more scavenging going on. Unfortunately, we lost our good uh, attacker guy, so... What? Huge park! The pond's covered with scum now that the filtration stopped working, but the fish are fatter and happier than ever. Mm, no, you should probably keep resting a little bit. Let me look at how you're feeling. Eh, you're okay. You could be better, could be worse. You go clear that out. That scavenger's almost done. We'll send him in to scavenge that right now. Recruitment. Following signs of human habitation, I knocked on a door at the trailer park. The man who answered the door spoke softly. He said his name was Wolf Strength. Wolf Strength, that's an interesting name. And he'd been hoping somebody would come before it was too late for his friend. His friend is indeed looking quite the worse for wear, coughing up yellowish gray goop. Was it poop? Every time she tried to speak. We only have room for one of them. What should we do? Leave the sick one. That's all we can do. I spoke quietly with Wolf Strength in another room. His friend's condition was terminal. It was only a matter of days, a week at most, before she would die. To stay here by her side, I said, but only endanger Wolf Strength's life too. You're right, croaked a voice from the other room. The, wo the woman had heard us. I can die alone just as well as with somebody watching. Take him with you. That settled it. Wolf Strength left food, water, and a loaded pistol by his friend's bedside. Then we left. Lost some happiness there, but what can we do? Alright, we have another fighter, that's something, so... What? Zombies mill in the banks here, but rarely enter the water. We can't reclaim the river, but it makes a great natural barrier. Well, that's good, okay. Um, so we got some stuff we can do here. Let's go... Clear... What? What? It scares me, what? I guess we'll go clear that out. Um... I can go scope out something. We need to go find more farms. We need more farmland. So let's move here and then go there, maybe? Let's, uh, yeah, go ahead and clear that out, me. Okay, all right. Now, you get to go reclaim, because that's your job. You get to go here and... Scavengers make better fishermen. Okay, so we can either get some more stuff for us or else we can go fishing. Let's go fishing right now, because we need some food. So let's do that. I need you to go scavenge here real quick. I lied. I want to get that farm as fast as possible. I will farm in the meantime, I guess. I don't know what else to do. And once again, I'm sorry that my commentary on this is mostly me tryharding, but such is life. Um. Uh oh. It's, it's green already, so that's something. Are any of my killers about done? Yes. Guard. Okay, build faster. I need you to be a better builder than this. Uh, we're doing okay on food at the moment. We're staying even even though it says we're going down. Okay, um... That's not why I tried to send you. Oh, well, it's a small farm. I thought that was a much bigger farm. I thought that was like that one. Well, it's still something, so go clear that out. You, guard duty. Back to it, I suppose. We need more people. I need to go convince him to join, but... Ha! That should speed up considerably now. Hold the line. Good job, Wolf Strength. We've already read that before. All right. All right. All right. Um... Hunt. Scavengers are better at it. I say scavengers are better at fishing too. I don't remember. Ruh -roh. Uh Let's work toward this now, I suppose. Let's get that church cleared out. You can clear that out. Everybody's doing something. I can take me away and go try to recruit. Wait, what? No free houses. Uh oh. Um. Can we tear this down and build apartments? Let's do that. So is everybody as equipped as I can get them real quick? I should check that too. No, we are not. Get some nunchucks. 
And I've got a stick. I don't know that anyone needs a stick. Do you need a stick? No, you got a nail board. Uh, gave you something. The rest of you guys should have something. Maybe you will take a stick. You're a scavenger. I'm not going to use you to attack. What am I talking about? We'll just wait until we find somebody else. I don't know. I don't know. Scavenge, I guess. We're waiting for him to finish up. Why are you doing nothing? Reclaim the church. Builder, please. Wait, what? What am I even thinking? You, scavenge. Why am I scavenging with my builder and building with a fighter? Use your brains, Wade. More people. Lots of people around here. Um, we're building another apartment right now. Nothing for you to scavenge. Yeah, go scavenge over there. Down to 38 food. Ruh -ruh raggy You go scavenge, you come defend. We're gonna be low on food for a little while, but at least we'll be scavenging quickly. Maybe he'll find some food. And then we'll reclaim it real quick. The road is long. Hiroshi Steele heard her crying last night and went out to the city to see what it was. He found a young boy wandering out there, exhausted, traumatized, and alone. The kid is in shock. He hasn't said a word. We don't know where he's from or what happened to his family, but can guess the worst. He's been sticking close to Hiroshi. Adopt him or send him back? I don't know what adopting a kid will do. Let's take him. We're going to be helpful. Hiroshi took the kid in. We eventually coaxed the name out of him. Cletus. It's going to take some time before the poor boy's life's back to normal if you could ever call this kind of life normal, but he'll, ex he'll heal and adapt. Children are pretty flexible that way. Okay. Well, that's something. And we can't do anything yet. So, keep going. Found fuel. Found materials. You switch... You recruit. <laughs> Boom, got an apartment. Gustav! Yeah, we've already seen Gustav. He was in the last place. So. We don't really care about that. That doesn't do anything for us. Scope it. We need to take that farm. ASAP. Don't care about the river. I don't have you scavenging anything at all. At least be looking out or something. And you, chillax for a minute. Yeah, just go rest for a little bit. Take some time. Good, good, good. Finally attacking. That's what we needed. Uh, all right. So, as it stands right now, we're in pretty good shape early on. We've got two or three, three or four places to live. Lots of people to recruit. If we can get food up and running, we'll be in very good shape. So, I'm happy about that. I think everybody should be happy about that, because if I'm happy, you should be happy. I could probably turn to the police station, build a farm or something too. You scavenge food. Now we're in good shape. I don't know why I didn't switch to you earlier. Probably because I'm a dumb. I was greeted by a delicate woman named Mrs. Bell and her bodyguard, Sergeant Wilson. They were living in luxury at the big farm, drinking from crystal goblets among scavenged chandeliers and enormous bronze statues of rearing horses and naked cherubs. The woman spoke for both of them, agreeing to join us if she could do some job where she didn't have to get her hands dirty, something like administration or research, what should I ask her to be? Another leader, an engineer, we could probably use another builder. Is, uh, that, an engineer's not a builder though, is it? Oh, uh, we don't have, let's go with engineer, I don't know. Engineers are a rare breed these days since one of those skills that isn't well suited for survival, all the engineers died is the th all the engineers died is the thing, unless they learn to scavenge and build defenses and use a gun, or hired someone to do those things for them, which I guess is the case here. Cool. Alright, so we have an engineer, just in case. I don't know if we need one here or not, but I figured they're kind of hard to come by sometimes, so. Might as well see. And you go help clear that out. You. I guess go clear that out, even though it's not really your thing. Um, you can't do anything there. Can we reclaim that? Yes, go take that. You help. And I will help kill stuff, I guess. While we're waiting on this to be done. Now I can send me in over here to recruit, and then we'll go take it. Aha! Alright. So kill, kill, kill. It's time to kill some things. 
All right, we're gonna have this nice little corner here, which will be nice. And we'll have to worry about the bridge if we can get the stuff back there. Then we'll start working back this way. Cause it looks like the water here is a barrier from something. Uh oh, didn't mean to screw you up there. Bet fuel on black. How much fuel do we have? 21. We don't really need fuel. Oh, we'll just pass. We don't really need it. Decline saying I didn't think survival was a game. Rita pouted and packed away her things. Well, sorry. Nothing I can do there. I mean, I guess I could have bet, but I would just rather not lose 10 fuel at the moment. Not really worth the risk. Anything else there we can do? Not really. We can come kill there. Keep killing and hopefully we can prevent hordes from gathering. Okay. Keep killing. Just keep meltering. I can hear these two fighting from a block away. Blah, blah, blah. If I have to listen to your snoring for one more night, by God, I'll blah. Ah, roommates. Good news is they both want to join us. Bad news is each refuses to come if the other will be there. So we can pick Sam Young, the builder, or Shane Quartrial, the soldier. Take Sam, take Shane, or take both because we're a level four leader or better. Bam. Wasn't easy getting these two to sit down and talk to each other civilly, but there's too much at stake to lose it to some petty roommate disagreements. We set some ground rules and agreed that Sam and Shane wouldn't have to live together or work together if it could be helped. In return, they both joined us. Hopefully we can keep them separated. We gotta keep them separated. You gotta keep them separated. Okay. Your Cheetos are fine. You gotta keep them separated. Alright. Take it! Okay, good, 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 good. No room for survivors. Cripe on a criker. Uh, go. Go help kill. Well, that escalated quickly. Glad you came back just in the nick of time. Oh, you know what? Um, hold the phone. You. We can equip you with us. A knife. Even better. Sweet. You we can equip with a steak. <laughs> Everybody's happy. Minus one to all stats. Oh, why do we agree to take you? Ugh. What a drain. Oh wait, I've got a ton of people here doing nothing. Can we take these guys? Yeah, go kill them. Don't wait for them to attack us. Kill them first. Go take a look at that. Would you take a look at that? Oh, uh, food is a problem right now. Food is a major problem. That didn't seem to do a ding dong thing. Farm, please. Okay, more people. People everywhere. Jeez, little peats. We're gonna be way overpopulated. Um, the police station is still helping us, so I don't want to tear that down. There's nothing we can do there. We could take that back, um... Crap. Just farm for a little bit. Let's try to hold off as long as we can. Starvation is about to be a thing. I don't think we have a whole lot of stuff to trade. I don't see that guy anyway, so... So be it! I recruited too many people too quickly, but the buildings I can expand into are... Ooh, look at that, plus 10 food. A couple of guys were joking around when they found someone's old earthquake supply kit in one of our buildings today, and the thing was packed with dry goods. We're gonna have a feast of oatmeal tonight. Ooh, I like oatmeal. Oatmeal and toast? Like if you get like a slice of buttered toast and you make oatmeal with like enough sugar and you put like the sugar and the oatmeal together, the, the sugar and the oatmeal, the toast and the oatmeal together. Ooh, doggy. All right, Farmer John, how are you doing? We are not doing well on food yet. Now we are. The 10 of us are starting to see some progress here at Wendigo. We've reclaimed enough buildings that you can actually go for a little jog around the neighborhood. Think of that. Running for fun, not for your life. Exercise, recreation, spandex, running shorts. These are the things we're looking forward to. You perverts. How dare you want to watch me in my spandex. Oh my, everything is done here. Okay. Uh, builder guy. Oh. Hey, you. Um. It's a workshop. We don't want to destroy the- Oh, can we do anything with the workshop with our, uh, research lady? Can you- cr Oh, you can craft something. Explosives or ammunition. That takes fuel, that takes- Well, we got- we don't need either of those right now. Where are all my scavengers at? If I take you off of duty, can you scavenge without it screwing me over? Looks like it. 
Can you go kill? No, you cannot. Wow. But you two combined can. And you can go... I don't know, go farm. Help us. Alright, food is still going up, happiness is going up. Things are looking good right now. What if I take you off to scavenge? Oh, there's nothing to scavenge there, so keep doing your thing. Um, what if I send you here to hunt? I send you here to clear this out. Seems legit. But very, very good. If you go out into the woods today, you might get... Well, you might get Poison Ivy Rash, but Shane Quartrill managed to avoid that. He did come back with a huge sack of blueberries, though. The thing is, we don't know what kind of berries they are. And whether they'd be good to eat. What should we do with them? I guess we'll research them first, but if they're blueberries, aren't they blueberries? We sent a sample to our top researcher, Mrs. Bell, but she didn't manage to identify them. I guess there's one sure way to find out if these are edible. Well, we are gaining food right now. I don't want to risk killing anybody, so let's throw them out. We don't have any real medical supplies, so... Sweet. Me. Go. Uh... No, recruit there. Yeah, recruit there. Get the big houses going. Go climb that. Let's get this whole corner climbed out so we don't have to worry about a horde getting from behind us. Only having to worry about defending right here. Cause I'm not gonna go- I don't know if we can capture the bridge or not. Or go across the bridge, I'm not sure how that works. And uh, then we'll eventually take over here. There's lots of farmland over there too, so that's good. The more food we have, the better. I don't know if this needs to be a leader or not, but no, no. You. Let's go meet up with the guy. Let's go see what he's got. No, let's not convince them to join us. I don't- that's not a good leader. Let's go trade. Trade with Gustav. What we got here? We're a little low on everything right now. Is there anything we really need? Ooh, that'd be nice. That would come in very handy. I know we're- eh, let's just- we'll, we'll hold off for now. I thought I had more to trade, but I just don't right now. Sorry, Gustav! Zero percent danger! We are kicking butt. I feel like I'm just wasting people's talents here, but... Aha! We've never eaten people! They agreed to join, yay! Does that say two more? Oh man, that's too many people! What are you? Oh, you're a leader. That's not gonna help us much. Um... What, are we full up again? Gosh darn it. Everyone's on... No, no. Let, let's get my best attacker back to go kill. You guys can do the flipping recon missions. Hmm. Sometimes I don't know what's going through my silly brain. You can't kill anything because you are not helpful. Okay, we'll take that. If we can get that spot, we can claim both those farms, so. Gonna need it for more foods. We're encountering all kinds of peoples. You gotta kill out. Well, you can kill it. So go ahead. If you kill it, they will come. You scavenge until I can find a flippin' free scavenger. Oh, both my scavengers are. Eh. Can we reclaim this? Yes. Then do it! We're gonna need more building materials soon. Probably demolish some st well we don't have a whole lot of demolishable buildings, there's some in here. I don't know, I might be making some mistakes. Hard to say. I felt like everything was going really well, but all of a sudden I'm questioning myself. Big game hunting. I used to hear stories about grizzly bears coming down from the mountains and picking through people's garbage, but most have gotten good sense to stay away from the remains of civilization now that it's swarming with undead. The one I saw in the park they obviously doesn't have that good sense, but I guess when you are that big, you might not need it. Should I go after it? That'd be a good eating on a bear like that, but it's dangerous game. If I don't kill him the first shot, well, I wish I had. Track it and ambush it. Attack it fiercely. Let's ambush. Success! I tracked the creature to its lair, cornered it, and managed to kill it. Now all we need are a few dozen pounds of salt and a good smoking shed. We'll have enough jerky to last us for months. Thirteen food. That is a big help. That is a huge help. Food's dropping quickly. Spotted food. Where? Is that here? Trade. You come... Scavenge. There's food there. 
Okay, we got another farm. That's very important. Now food's going up again. That is fantastic. <sighs> a crash. An armor-plated school bus just went tearing down Wendigo's main street. Not sure why they were going so fast, but when they hit that newspaper stand, the thing really went flying. We can see the explosion from here. Looks like it took the entire farm with it. Might be something to scavenge there or survive. There's lots of Zed in that area, though. Not sure who we should send to take a look, but they better be prepared for anything. Where is that at? Where? Took out a farm with it? Where did they take out a farm? Down Wendigo's main street? There, okay. Um. You. Salvage what you can and look for survivors. Do it. Please don't die. You're probably my best attacker, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Oh god, what have I done? Now we can start taking out this farm. Salvage it. You. Kill. You. Can't recruit, so you kill too, me. Okay, we got the, we got those buildings. Sweet. So now, you kill, me recruit, then we can kill there, reclaim that, have more houses, reclaim, or take this person, get more houses, have all these farms, and we should be in good shape with all of that. I hope. Following sounds of human habitation, I knocked on the door of the suburb, man who answered, but stop, so, the, 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 spoke softly, he said his name was Private Torres, and he'd been hoping somebody would come before it was too late for his friend. His friend's looking quite the worst for wear. Two people to even raise his head. What should I do? Take them both? We don't have a hospital. I guess we'll take them both and see. We carefully transferred the sick man into a clean room in our fort where we could take care of him. He seems to be looking better already, but I fear this is a chronic illness which will come back to haunt him again. Torres is happy we brought him back. What's this? One injured survivor. Okay, yeah, we need to find a hospital somewhere in the city. There are 14 of us now, and our little chunk of Wendigo is starting to be downright livable. It's almost been us that we are going to need a proper government to run things soon. Sweet. But we are once again out of food because... Yay, us. You. You can... No. You can build a farm there. And we got three little farmland things. Blood and ice cream. A pair of guys showed up at our gate today. One a hefty guy with a shotgun on his back, the other a wiry, balding guy with a cricket bat. They said they were a couple former cops who'd taken to traveling the world after it ended, killing Zed and meeting interesting folks along the way. They cracked jokes like there was nothing wrong out there, no apocalypse, no end of the world. It was refreshing. They said they'd kill for one of those old prepackaged ice cream cones if we had any. Was that a joke too? We don't have a mart, so we can offer them water. I got the feeling they'd been looking for something stronger, but they still chugged down what we handed out. They said it was better than the stagnant puddles they'd drank from in the past while. After they finished up their drinks, they thanked us and headed out. That's unfortunate, but we can't really afford to take on too many more people right now anyway, and we have plenty to recruit, so... Uh, this, oh, the wreck. Salvage the wreck. We picked our way through the rubble to the side of the crash. There are a lot of dead here. Seven in all. Wait, one of them's moving and moaning. So six dead, one survivor. Or possibly six dead, one zombie. What should we do? Check if it's a zombie. Okay, yes, one living human. He didn't really appreciate being poked out with a stick like that, though. The man seems to have something wrong with his legs. He's wiggling and making a lot of pain noise. It doesn't look good. Let's talk to him? Barely gripping to consciousness, the man said he'd come to look for his daughter who'd lived here before the infection. These strangers had kindly given him a lift, but one of them was bitten and very sick. She turned during transit and caused the crash. I told him to hold on, but at the moment he let go. He died. We searched the rest of the wreckage and found a med kit. Tragic, we could have used that an hour ago. Well, at least we have a med kit now, it's something. There was just something I was thinking, man, we could sure kill things like that with that. Maybe it was there. I don't know. We'll try it. But, I think once we get this starting to be claimed, we're gonna call it an episode. So right now, you're building a farm, never mind. Start reclaiming, let's just get it going. Holy crap. The Luddies, back when we had things like the internet and reliable electricity, I never understood people who insist on living off the grid. But now that we have to survive without that stuff, those folks don't look so silly anymore. After civilization started to fall apart, a bunch of those technophobe types got together and started to commu- 
started a commune here in Wendigo. They call themselves the Luddies, and you won't find a better bunch of farmers here or in the afterlife. So that's one of our one of our other gangs. Oh, they're right there. Yeah. We're pressing right up in on them. Well, such is life. Have to worry about building up some more attackers here soon. It was easy to find the survivors living here in the suburbs. They spray painted, we're still alive, across the door. Not them was greeted by a smiling couple. We'll just get our stuff, they said, like they'd been expecting us. And oh yeah, we do have room for three children too, right? Unfortunately, we don't even have room for both adults. Just one of them. Just take one adult. That's sad. Turns out the couple weren't married. The man, Major Masters, had only taken up with the others a week ago. He apologized to the woman and hugged each of the kids. He told them they should head to the Luddies, like they had planned, and see if they have room for children over there. I felt bad leaving the woman with all those kids. I hope they find some place safe to live without, with enough food to support them. Yeah, I feel a little bad about that, but hey, we got... Major Masters. Now let's find our, uh, our other builder guy here. Hello, Sam. Sledgehammer. Wrench. You're all of a sudden semi-useful to me! Yay! Sergeant, I give you a stick. Have that instead. Yay. You, Private Torres. Stick a stick. Uh-oh. Good thing I left you here. There we go. Reclaim. Why am I not doing diddly squat? Start reclaiming that. I need someone to start reclaiming that too. I keep saying I'm gonna end this and then I keep going like an idiot. Oh. Uh-oh. Time to put some policies. Um, let's go with regular rations. Because we're about to get a lot more farmland. Build. Alright. Now everything is looking much better. So, that'll probably be a good spot to end it. Okay, well you can scope out the place, but we'll pick up here in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Rebuild 3 Gangs of Dead... Gangs of Deadsville, part... Three? Four? Three? I don't remember. Stay tuned for whatever comes next. Until next time. See ya, guys. I like the outside a lot more. I like being in any house. Listen. That wasn't an apple! That wasn't an apple! What an apple.